So, uh, welcome everyone, first of all. Um, what we are going to do today, uh, thanks to Scientific to, to give the host uh, and to all other sponsors who are arriving, I would say. Um, in the meantime, there are some delays here and there by planes, and uh, yeah, we are expecting more people. Not many more, I would say, but there will be more people. Um, also, if, if anyone follows us um, on YouTube, uh, I just want to say a welcome. Uh, you can put there some uh, comments. Uh, please be nice uh, because we are also. So if you don't like something, uh, let us know in private. If you do love something, let us know in public. Yeah? Um, so the very first session uh, will be one of our um, thought sponsors uh, called Glasswall. Um, who is uh, on cybersecurity field. Um, in the Netherlands and as far as I know also globally um, a big player so I'd like to introduce Joan um, and yeah uh, with some applause <laughs> yes thank you very much for having me uh, very pleased to be able to uh, talk about uh, what we do all day uh, no, I don't think. Is it necessary? Everybody can. For the streaming? No. No? No. 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 It's just something in my hand, so it's not. Uh, Good. No. I'll turn it off. Oh. oh. My drop. Um, let's see. Put this on. Um, I'm managing a uh, uh, consultant of, of Glasswall means I'm uh, well responsible for daily operation and uh, strategic um, uh, decisions uh, for long term. Hey. I go any further. Hey, Sam. Hey, Sam. Jan is active. Okay, thank you. Uh, there was a payoff. We're open about cybersecurity. Uh, that seems maybe a bit weird, but I, uh, well, at large, we feel that it's better to be uh, open and open in your communication, so you will, uh, well, be better aligned with your customer. Um, that's us. Um, we've been uh, established since uh, 2012. We employ about six people, um, and we're uh, yeah, focused on a particular niche. We focus on uh, security awareness. Mm -hmm. So we usually don't supply our customers with uh, uh, hardware or software, but actually with new insights and information, so they are better able to take their decisions uh, on, uh, on uh, well, issues of, of cybersecurity and, and privacy. And the nice thing about uh, well being uh, in the open source field is that you always have a feeling you are part of something bigger. Well, uh, in in uh, in uh, in the case of uh, Glasswall, that's that's especially true because we are part of the uh, uh, the, the Monkey Tail Holding Company, which uh, we we have a number of sister companies. that are also working in the. Uh, in the open source uh, arena. Uh, Smooth is, is a sponsor of the, uh, the UbiPorts uh, initiative. I don't know if someone, I think your friend knows what UbiPorts is. <laughs> it's, it's an open source uh, alternative for, uh, uh, it's an open source uh, touchscreen uh, OS. Um, and they also uh, are, are developing an, an open source alternative to, uh, to Office uh, 365. Uh, Onestein implements and consults on Odoo, and Odoo is an open source uh, ERP uh, uh, piece of software uh, produced by Odoo. It's a Belgian firm, one of the fastest companies, uh, growing companies in uh, in, in Belgium, uh, maybe the fastest, at least it's, a, it's one of the, the fastest growing companies in, in Europe. Uh, What's well, all nice uh, talking about <coughs> changing people's perspectives, new insights. So how do we do that? Um, how do we fill that in? All solutions we use are built uh, using uh, open source components. 
and they're mostly co-developed with partners and uh, uh, our, our users and user customers. Um, that has a big advantage for us. That means we are always perfectly aligned with that end user customer. We ask them what the problem is and we get, well, we get cracking and make it, uh, make sure we can deliver it. Um, one of the things we do is ethical hacking. So pen testing, uh, I think that's, every, everyone knows what pen testing is, I think. Okay. <laughs> uh, threat analysis and uh, threat analysis um, that falls into two categories. That's the, um, uh, the honeypot, who I'll be uh, talking about uh, some more later, um, and dark web monitoring. And with dark web monitoring, we go actually into the dark web and monitor the activities of hackers. And as soon as we see uh, information being exchanged about our customer, uh, well, we inform them so they can take the appropriate action and they can, well, prepare for an attack or uh, uh, some hanky-panky. Um, uh, and of course, more in broader sense, security and privacy consultancy. So we go, go around, uh, have a cup of coffee and, and <laughs> well, help them out. Um, Security awareness training, we do that uh, on, the, uh, well, on the customer premises, but also uh, uh, via uh, e-learning. Something we uh, developed based on Odoo, because Odoo has a, well, an entire module open source for training and uh, uh, well, taking surveys, and that's in fact what you are doing when you're providing e-learning uh, solutions. A personal cybersecurity, that's a hot item. Um, that means we coach key personnel how to um, well, use stuff like self, social media safely without being compromised or compromising company, uh, company secrets. Vision simulation, that's uh, part of the uh, of awareness training because we have found that you can tell <laughs> end users a hundred times that they shouldn't click on links. Well, sure, but when they experience what happens when you do click on the link, that somehow triggers it. They can no longer, there's no longer a plausible deniability. <laughs> I'm very, uh, I'm up to speed with all the, uh, the, the uh, possible uh, threats. Um, what we do is we start with a context analysis. So what kind of company is it? Um, um, uh, what kind of stuff do they use? Do they, is it allowed to use, for instance, WeTransfer? Uh, we've had a recent uh, uh, development where we, we sent out, uh, we transferred request uh, to, uh, well, employees of a company where it's absolutely forbidden to use WeTransfer, and we put a link in there, well, translated from Dutch, it said something like, we are thieves and frauds, and 40% of the end users went, hey, that's for me, and they just clicked. Okay, learning experience. <laughs> <laughs> Always great fun. Um, uh, we do that uh, in long-term contracts because when you do it just once, it doesn't, well, they just forget about it. You have to do it once a month or once every two months, and then they stay uh, more aware. Uh, we take the results from what they do. So if they click, some are even uh, perfectly willing to put on uh, passwords, uh, credit card numbers. We uh, train those people uh, on an individual basis. But we never disclose who is the, uh, the bad apple uh, because that would, uh, if you do that, if you really pick on uh, people, uh, well, they're not able to play along. So it has to be something of a fun experience as well. We make sure it, uh, it stays like that. Um, and because it's all, uh, well, it's all very measurable, we report on that and that's for the higher management. It's very interesting to see. Well, we do that from the context analysis. What do you want to achieve? And some want to achieve a, uh, um, well, a lower click rate. Other one, others want uh, um, employees to immediately respond to a uh, support desk. Well, you can all measure what happens, what people do, and we report on that. So, uh, um, uh, for the, and, and we report on that uh, on multiple levels. So for higher management, tech guys, uh, well, you know the job. Uh, threat analysis, <coughs> uh, honeypots. Yes, that's a honeypot. And there's a uh, famous Dutch proverb that goes something like, um, uh, it's easier to catch a fly with, with honey uh, uh, than with vinegar. So that's, it's not that, it's that. 
So it's a system that just sits in your network and tries to lure attackers in, uh, into engaging with it. And the purpose is in, indeed to, well, first of all, detect them, deflect them, and uh, the study hacking attempts, and uh, based on that information, uh, uh, change your, uh, well, your security, the measures that you are taking. So you will be better prepared for the next attack. There are a number of types of honeypots, internal versus external. Uh, we have customers that want us to check on their employees. So we put a nice folder somewhere that just says, um, well, salaries 2019 or commission schedule uh, sales 2018. And well, there's always people <laughs> clicking on that and having a look. Well, um, and indeed you have to make sure you communicate that all correctly. Uh, you have to tell them beforehand, we do stuff like that. So please do not click on stuff that you're not supposed to click on. Don't go browsing around the, in, uh, the internal network for uh, juicy, uh, juicy information. Uh, <clears throat> and again, it's all done. Uh, well, uh, it's more of a game than real a, uh, a really, uh, 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 well, not all, all too strict because otherwise it just doesn't work. <clears throat> and external, well, that speaks for itself. That's a, a website outside of your network or in your DMZ, maybe, just to uh, 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 lure uh, external attackers into uh, your, uh, your web of deceit. Um, you can also classify uh, honeypots uh, when you look at the, the, the design. Um, the low interaction honeypot is, is something that is, well, just um, that simulates. A, uh, just a few functions of what you are trying to, uh, to, to emulate. Uh, a high interaction honeypot is almost a full-fledged system with just some, some alterations. So um, that it has a benefit of, um, well, it takes more time uh, of the attackers to be able to, um, to actually find out um, if it's a, a real system or not. So you're wasting more of the time. Pure honeypots, that's just uh, like a, a guardian that's that runs on a, on a real production server, and when someone touches that trap, uh, 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 a notification is sent out to uh, a SIEM system uh, or uh, well, IST security departments. Can I ask Yeah, sure. What's the use of the internal honeypots? Well, that's, the internal honeypots is to make sure that uh, employees uh, do not go browsing around and just click on stuff that, that they're not supposed to uh, uh, well, to click on. Okay. It's just, an, it's just a, uh, a measure of uh, a heightening awareness. But it only works if you tell them beforehand, listen, this is, <laughs> this is what you're allowed to look at. Mm -hmm. Do not look at confidential stuff. Uh, and we, yeah, we have stuff like that implemented in our network. So please don't do it. And if they do it, well, hey. Is it like to detect what kind of employees actually go snooping around on the network or no it's more it's more actually it's more of a preventative measure measure okay. uh, and sometimes the the, the 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 best free security tip I can give you is we are talking with glass wall we are going to take measures like that even if you don't suddenly people start behaving differently hmm. so okay. um, <clears throat> The information you gather from a, a honeypot is actually of high, very high quality because you, you can get information about actual attacks, people that are actually attacking you. You can learn a lot of, uh, of the, well, who they are, how they act, what techniques they are using. And that's very hard to do with other uh, um, technical um, um, installations. Um, it generates a very low level of false positives. Of course, you have to uh, um, implement the, the honeypot correctly <laughs> to make sure you don't have a lot of false positives because it's, it's all possible. Uh, <clears throat> but in general, it, it generates a very low uh, level of false positives. Um, and it actually adds a layer of security, and it, it, that's twofold. You waste time of the attacker, um, time and resources. Um, and like most people, they all have a, well, conscious or un, un, uh, unconscious, <laughs> Um, um, idea about um, investment and possible reward. 
and when the, 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 the investment is, gets too big, they just leave you alone, so less hackers, great. Or they waste a lot of time uh, focusing on these fake systems and, well, all the time spent on uh, uh, trying to hack the, the honeypot is at least not uh, spent uh, uh, on your uh, trying to hack your, uh, your live uh, production uh, systems. Drupot, I saw that we, uh, <laughs> you called us the developers of Drupot. Well, we're not. We took a look at it uh, and we, um, um, well, we had some issues with it. It, it. it works just fine, but it only provides you with just one hidden field and it's better to have more hidden fields so you can, uh, well, differentiate uh, between the tags. Uh, it's easily, readily recognizable as a honeypot. What we've done, we've built uh, uh, one of our own. Um, and it, um, well, it offers a number of, uh, of, of uh, well, uh, default pages, and it emulates a, a, a newly uh, M, uh, deployed uh, Drupal 8 uh, system. Well, what does it do? Yeah, all data submitted is just saved as a simple text file, of course, for security reasons. We're not actually interacting, and the 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 the, uh, the hacker is not actually interacting with with something that can damage us. Uh, logging, very simple format. So, uh, because this uh, um, um, honeypots are usually uh, coupled with something like a SIEM, uh, security information and event management system, uh, and if you keep it simple, it's better and easy to interact with systems like that. It's a worker process, so the real sexy stuff is not yet done. So the automatic analysis and reporting on findings, uh, findings we're working on that. And what we have done, um, we have made a honeypot uh, for <coughs> Odoo. So it emulates ERP and it um, emulates a Odoo uh, um, um, a web shop. And what we've done there is, and that is what we are going to do with, with this, uh, this uh, Drupal uh, uh, honeypot as well, if you change something on the website or change something in the ERP, the system analyzes it and just rebuilds. It just goes back to uh, the state just before uh, the, uh, the hacker did his, uh, his, uh, his stuff. Um, and that's also uh, a way of, uh, well, you could also put that uh, on, a, on, a, on a real life uh, website. Because when, then when, you're, when you are defaced, it, gener it, it realizes it has been defaced and just goes back to the situation just before the, uh, the, uh, the initial defacement. Any questions? Well, that's a bit, uh, well, we could start with some questions. You have some questions? <laughs> yes, okay, well. Uh, oh. I, I can imagine that if you um, do your work in a, in a, inside a company and you send one of those uh, uh, emails or, you know, that, that you track what which people click. Yeah. And I'm imagining that you follow up when they do that personally, so you would have to gather their personal information somehow, but they did not give a permission for that. So is that like some kind of well, it's, it, ness or? No, it's it's yeah. You are potentially you are you are correct. The uh, uh, what you do is you make sure that that well everyone has agreed on that. They know usually they have a something like a. Uh, um, and uh, well, arbeidsovereenkomst and uh, and uh, yeah, the contract and there. Well, usually it's in there that you uh, that, that you tell them beforehand. We can we can train you. Well, okay, this is a form of training. <laughs> yeah, well, it's it's uh, uh, again we are not. Um, um, we have customers say, I want to know who did that. No, it's not going to happen. Yeah. Then we just leave. <laughs> We're not going to do that. It just doesn't work. So, good question. Yeah. How many, uh, or on average, time false positives do you have on Drupal? On, on the, the Drupal, I'm not even sure because we just take, take we well, we glanced at it. Uh, 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 I think that's that's maybe down to uh, for the other. I can only talk for the other uh, 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 honeypots. That's maybe once a month. There's something you go oh, that looks suspicious, and it is nothing. So. Um. Can you integrate it automatically to, to block the, the incoming? Yes, trigger? yes, exactly. We've done that. Yes, yeah, okay. I didn't talk about that, but we do. We block the IP <coughs> if you want to. Yes, okay. correct. 
Balash. Yes. Uh, what interests me uh, is basically your uh, security awareness training. Mm -hmm. How do you um, collaborate with other programs, such as uh, the European Commission mm. runs the cyberware, uh, such as in the US there are other programs. Mm. Um, how do you take your uh, materials, what you are given, uh, and, and how, how collaboration happens, especially on open source? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, to be honest, we don't. Uh, we, we, we usually don't. We just <laughs> we do work together with with some uh, fraud pre prevention uh, companies or fraud prevention companies of uh, like uh, uh, credit card companies or banks. Uh, uh, that that is what happens, but we don't. Uh, well, not with the government agencies or something like that. Maybe we should. Very uh, very sound advice. Maybe could, so. could be a, a nice exchange. Yeah. Show <laughs> how how you are raising yeah. awareness and how they do that on yeah. different uh, scale. Yes. yes. Any more questions? Yes. Oh, a lot of questions. Yes. Uh, I was just wondering whether if uh, when you're using a honeypot, um, if you I'm not sure. If, it, if you're sort of presenting it like a, maybe a misconfigured Drupal site or something like that, whether you, you know, would you be happy or unhappy if you, say, for example, got indexed on Showdown and suddenly millions of hackers were all coming along? Do, would that be a good thing? Yeah, that, gathering but the information yes, or that, would you suddenly have too much? No, that will be that will be a good thing. Uh, we have multiple uh, honeypots that are just sitting around on the internet as we speak. Uh, and we have honeypots deployed at customer sites, and then we don't want to attract that much attention, just right. a little. So that's yeah, correct. But we uh, we use those just for uh, information gathering, and of course reporting in a more broad sense. Okay. I'm interested to try the uh, Glassball honeypot. Can I find it on Drupal or on GitHub? Not yet. We will. Okay. We will be putting it on there. Great. I'll, uh, I'll inform you. What sort of licenses do you have? Sorry? Licensing? Uh, no. License? This is... This is, uh, this is licensing, sorry, but license that you develop your code. It's GPL, Apache, or...? Oh, like that. Uh, I think a lot of the, of, of the stuff is made in Python and PHP. P, 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 it's very... Mm -hmm. So, we, but we don't license what we... Uh, what uh, Usually we just uh, all give it away or, uh, well, uh, uh, we make our money by and making sure it keeps uh, functioning for, uh, for end customers. Simple as that. So, so you uh, said something about uh, monitoring the uh, dark web yeah. for your clients. Mm -hmm. What do you do with data which does not regard your clients? But oh. you see a threat, so you uh, contact something or we do. someone or you just... No, we do. We have a special program for that. Uh, all Glasswall employees are allowed to spend like... 10% of the time, well, I sometimes call it horsing around, but it's not that. Uh, it's just personal projects. And a few of my colleagues and myself, we take it upon ourselves to spend that time just calling customers that are not companies that are not customers, just warning, hey, I saw this. We have a, uh, especially when I see a dot now or I see something like, uh, well, some time ago there was a, uh, uh, a company that is a well, company. It's uh, it's an organization that helps people, uh, children with with autism. Uh, they were they, their hack set, uh, their website got defaced. Well, we just gave those people a call, and it was actually <laughs> we were the the harbinger of, of bad news. And uh, it ha just had happened half an hour ago, and uh, I called the guy, and he said. You're in cahoots with the hackers because you you could have been that fast to uh, <laughs> to uh, to pick up on that. Well, we were uh, okay, no problem. You think what you want to think, just solve the problem, and we'll go on our uh, on our merry way. Happens, <laughs> <laughs> happens. Um, I have my colleague has made a uh, a small uh, well a somewhat of a video of well it's a graphical representation of what happens with the. Uh, uh, with the uh, uh, with the uh, Drupal uh, honeypot, um, <laughs> Flores, I'll try to see how we can do that. Command tab. Ah, say, sorry. Command tab. Okay. No, it's the tab here. No. Even if I'm not. Am I going to write or not? No. No, I see it not. Framed. Oh, he did this in the Yes. Yeah. Yeah. 
Já está na muito mais dano, então. Yo! Good it? Yes. Oh, já! Yeah. É goed. Kijk, we kunnen de plaat van krijgen. Vanaf hier. Space. Yes. Nee. Anders vergeten we het. Goed? Ah, dan nog. Nog een vuur. This is it, I think. Yes. Uh, almost there, I think. Yeah. yeah. There. Here in the zone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yes, perfect. I well, told you it was difficult. <laughs> Thanks. Well, again, this is something he made in those ten uh, percent. He said, "I want to make some uh, some graphical. It has to uh, some graphical representation. It has to look scary." Okay, do your worst. It looks pretty scary, I think. <clears throat> There's a uh, or oh, just leather running on the on the. Is it running or? Okay. Looks pretty convincing, uh, right? Well, they're just able to, to see that horse around on it, and we uh, well, we gather we gather the information. That's always a, a, a big question when they, they say, well, we're going to introduce vulnerabilities into our, our network. Well, sure, a little, but it doesn't go anywhere. And we can show you. <coughs> yeah, it's too bad he isn't, he isn't here because he was very proud of this. Will you look at that? Pong. <laughs> that's not how the monitoring actually what the monitoring actually looks like because would we would attract a lot of attention um nothing comes over no of course not <laughs> no that's not the point uh the, every, every time uh, a hacker touches the the system uh, we learn something so that's all uh, that's fine that's fine this is just the access log yeah <laughs> <coughs> mesmerizing. Mesmerizing, isn't it? Yeah. You should see it for an uh, active website. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I it's... need this screensaver. <laughs> <laughs> Hit me up, uh, Balash, no problem. <laughs> well, he gave, he gave some representation of the, the, the logging as well. I don't know. It, it will probably go uh, too fast, but it's. Uh, um... <clears throat> yeah, there's uh, the CLF and mm -hmm. the. Uh, I forgot the other one, uh, abbreviation. What are they? Are they binary formats or? Ah, uh, yes, they are. What well, was yeah. Balash, you know the answer to that one? Uh, sorry, could you say <laughs> it again? The uh, logging formats. What are they? I'm not familiar, familiar with them. Lo logging formats, like CLF like what you mean? The this one. CLF and the the other one here, then is the extended one and C. No, not really. Okay. Oh, well, okay. Just uh, I'll uh, I'll ask the uh, the guy who built it. We can make a follow up on it. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Okay. Um. That was it. Thanks.